Prolonged treatment with bromocryptine should be monitored through Option A. Retina function B. Pulmonary function C. Renal function D. Both A and B. Bromocryptine belongs to the group of medicines known as ergot alkaloids, produced by the fungus Claviceps purpurea. Bromocryptine is a dopamine receptor agonist with selective agonist activity on D2 dopamine receptors, while simultaneously acting as a partial antagonist for D1 dopamine receptors. It is mainly used in the treatment of Parkinson disease, acromegaly, pituitary prolactinomas and type 2 diabetes mellitus. Most common side effects associated with bromocryptine are nausea, vomiting, dizziness, hypotension, headache and fatigue. It can also cause more serious side effects such as psychosis, fibrosis, including retroperitoneal fibrosis, pleural fibrosis, and fibrosis of cardiac valve. Cardiovascular incidents, including valvular damage, stroke, and myocardial infarction. Prolonged therapy with bromocryptine may cause pulmonary infiltrate, pleural effusion and pleural thickening and should be monitored by regular pulmonary function. Bromocryptine is contraindicated as a treatment in patients with type 1 diabetes mellitus, syncope, and psychosis. Bromocryptine metabolism occurs primarily in the liver via the cytochrome P4503A4 enzymes and should be avoided in anyone with hepatic impairment. Patients with syncopal migraines should also avoid bromocryptine due to its ability to spark hypotensive episodes, and breastfeeding patients should avoid bromocryptine due to its inhibitory effect on lactation. Therefore the answer is option B. If you find this video helpful, Share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe Medbook for more videos like this and thanks for watching.